Hey everybody, it's Sunglass Rob from Sport RX, and I'm here with my very good friend, Rusty the Accountant, also the rock star, also the watch collector, also the sunglass collector, also the man of many voices. I do do some voices, maybe maybe, maybe later on. We'll see if y'all play your cards right, we can. <laughs> I was thinking Hans should talk about the pink oak piece, but I don't want to put you on the spot. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to another Talk About It Tuesday. We are here uh, live in the studios, and we are going to talk about Rusty and Rob's Rad and Retro Oakley collection. I'm really, really excited. Uh, originally, it was supposed to be just me, and I was like, hmm, Oak, uh, Rusty really has some really cool Oakleys, and I know there's a lot of Oakley heads out there that watch our channel. Um, so today, we're going to kind of go over some of my personal favorite Oakleys, some of Rusty's oldest and most retro Oakleys, and some of his personal favorites. And most of mine kind of have some sort of kind of memory or story attached to them. That's just kind of how I roll. Um, and Rusty has some of the most rarest, newest, hottest stuff out there. So uh, pretty rad. As you know, we go live every Tuesday at noon on Facebook and now also on YouTube. What's up, my YouTube people? Um, we would love for you guys to put comments down there. Please get engaged. If there's anything on the table that we haven't talked about that you want us to see try on, that would be super rad. Uh, and if you uh, share this video and send us a screen grab of you sharing this video, we will send you a free SportRx hat. I mean, that's kind of pretty rad. They're dope hats. Yeah. You yeah, want them. Yeah. They're, they're pretty. They're dope sauce. I wish I had one right now, but I don't. I can go get you one if you want. No? Let's talk. <laughs> Maybe we should talk about some Oakleys. So... I think uh, I'm going to let Rusty go first since I'm the host here and you're my guest. Well, you know, we were kind of talking about how to how to start this off. And, you know, obviously at Sport RX, like sport eyewear is our bread and butter. It's what we do. It's our expertise. And Oakley, you know, there's not really any arguing that they kind of helped define this category in a lot of ways. And a lot of the, the frames that I personally have here and love are the ones that put them on the map. You know, some of the first things that they came out with that changed the game in the eighties, you know, people used to do sports in the same glasses that they would wear to like work or no glasses or no glasses. Yeah. You know, it's like, I talked to my dad, my dad used to like play tennis in his like metal frame aviator computer guy programmer glasses, you know, like, so, you know, it could be argued that the category of sport sunglasses was started by Oakley. Yeah. At least they helped create it. That's for sure. There's a lot of goats on this table. Uh, uh, anybody timely, been watching timely. Michael Jordan? Yeah. Um, but I just wanted to talk about like how Oakley caught my attention. I remember this vividly like it happened yesterday. I was at Hershey Park, which is an amusement park on the East Coast. And it's awesome. It's like Hershey the chocolate, look it up. Is it still there? It's still there Dude, and it's still go. awesome. Our new video editor, Alec, is from Pennsylvania. And we were just talking about it yesterday. He says it's still awesome. Nice. It, I was 10 years old, the eye jacket came out and I just remember being at Hershey Park and like everybody was wearing these new Oakleys and I was like, what are those? And I just like asked somebody in line, I'm like, what are those? Oh, they're the Oakley eye jackets, here, check it out. And I bugged the heck out of my dad. And I was like, please, 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 can I get those? Please, can I get those? Please, can I get those? And he finally cracked and took me to the mall. We went into some store. And I remember the Oakley eye jackets were 80 bucks. And then he was like, how much are those? Pointed to the Oakley fives. And the guy's like, 50 bucks. And he's like, here you go. And I know I sound like a spoiled brat right now, and I kind of am, but uh, Rob can back me up. The fives are not as cool as the eye jackets. No, especially back then. What year was this? This was like 97, 98, yeah, something like so that. Yeah, so if you had gotten to Sunglass Hut in Northridge Mall, you would have bought those Oakley eye jackets or fives from me because I've been selling Oakleys since 96. Yeah, and that's when the eye jacket first came out. They had um, a plastic O, and it was before the invention of what we know as O matter now. And the temples used to break really easily, and then they fixed all of that. And then that's like the new version of Oakley. So, um, yeah, you would have probably bought them from me if you were in, in, yeah. the, in the valley. Funny, it's, I still don't have one. I, I look on eBay every once in a while to like see if there's a nice, fresh, like new yeah. old stock pair, and I just haven't found one. But they're, they're super funky. Look them up. Yeah, well, there's the redo now or the redux, but they're not quite the same. They're not quite the same. They're right. they're good, but so I'll do my origin. Should I do my origination story, like my origin story? Yeah, do it. So I had, if you've watched some of these videos before, I've talked about this before, with this pair of glasses. Um, it was, I think it was 1988. 
I was uh, in third grade and my PE teacher slash like football, baseball, basketball coach, it was a small school, it was one dude, was, was Coach Mark. And Coach Mark was like, he would wear like the hyper color tank tops and like the basketball shorts underneath the short, mm -hmm. underneath the volleyball <laughs> shorts, like that look. And he had a lifted Toyota truck, just like the one from um, Back to the Future. Yeah. He was like the coolest guy in the world, spiked bleachy hair. And he rolls up one day in his Toyota and we're all like eight, nine, 10 years old, like really look up to this guy. He rolls up wearing these glasses, the razor blades. And I just remember that neon Oakley sign on the side of Coach Mark's head. And like one of the first brands I've ever associated with, like before Nike, before like a shoe brand or anything, for me, it's always been like that, that fluorescent Oakley logo on the side of his head. And I was just like taken back by him. And then like the next day, it was a different color because back then you would get them in a kit and they came with different type of temples and colors and you switched them in and out. And I was just like, ever since third or fourth grade, I've just been kind of obsessed with Oakley. So this is the closest color I've ever found to what my memory remembers of what Coach Mark used to wear. So these are my uh, razor blades that I got and I believe 07 when they were re-released. So I've had this pair. Wow, this pair now even re-released is 13 years old is retro. I know. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So and so I Rob is wearing the 2005 like re-release pair, which yeah. they changed a little bit, I think for the better. Like it's a cool, yeah, they, they look really cool. The ones that I'm wearing are a one to one reissue of the original 80s razor blades. Yeah. Um, but these are modern. These were uh, a reissue from like 2014. Wow. But everything you see on the table is all modern. And new. yeah, I do have actual real vintage razor blades. I didn't bring those for today. So, um, yeah, you know, the great thing about Oakley and sunglasses and stuff is like they keep every once in a while, modern times, they will remake this stuff for us. And what's great about that is you can wear them. Yeah, you no, know, they're wearable now. You like, don't want to wear those 80 ones. Let's just see who's, let's see who's jumped in there. We got uh, Stephanie saying hello. Somebody else is saying hello. Petra is here, uh, your mm -hmm. beautiful wife. And my son, and your I son, see yeah. Sam said hi. Well, we hi, have guys. Emelson. Hey. Emelson, do you still have available, uh, where did it go? Oh, do you still have available? Oh, no. Sutro eye shades. Do we have any left? Uh, we do. We do. We have, I was looking in inventory. We have like one or two pairs. They're probably not on our website. Call, call our number and, um, oh, are you asking about this one? Yeah, Multi the multicolor. No, no. Those, those so are I was going to talk edition. about that later, but I can talk about it now since, uh, since the gentleman asked, um, back in February, Oakley did a special limited run, um, of the Sutro eye shade in this extremely cool Tour de France color. So back in the eighties, there was um, a bike racing team based out of France called La Vieille Claire. And the star of that team was Greg Lamond, who you may or may not know is the first American to win the Tour de France. Mm -hmm. and, I met him at an Oakley party. And he, um, he was Oakley's first cycling endorsee. He might have been their first like global star. One of the first. He was one of the first Oakley endorsees. And this was the colorway of their team. And so to kind of, um, in February, Oakley came out with the Origins collection, which has these Sutro eye shades that you see here. Um, these retro frog skins that you see here, which we'll talk a little bit more about later. And they did a release party in Los Angeles. They called it like a pop-up. So basically they took um, a store and secretly like built it and populated it with all kinds of cool Oakley retro stuff. And they did a three day event only. And this was, um, I think Thursday night, they did like a exclusive party for like big accounts. And actually we were the only account invited. It was like, there were athletes and like pro skaters and just we're influencers. influencers. Yeah. But Sporter X was the only account invited. And me and Andrew, our resident Oakley ambassador went up there and I actually got to make this t-shirt there. Um, and he made me a t-shirt. I have made, the same shirt. And so they just had these there. They're hand painted, um, limited edition of a hundred. Mine is number, can you see it? 007. 007. Oh, you got and it just the focus. box, everything about it. Like, how happy do those make you? They make me so happy. They make him so happy. I don't happy. even wear them. They're just. If I you just, don't know, Rusty also is into retro with Jordans and retro watches. And he's just like, he's a classic man, I would say. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I love classics. Like I love the classic stuff like the the frog skins and I love just the ridiculous loud stuff. Like when you walk around with these on your face. You get noticed. You're, you're a little bit happier. Yeah, yeah. Life's well, just a little bit that's brighter. That's like when you wear a tracksuit and you walk down the street. Life's just better in a tracksuit. Life's, better, Life's in... better in loud Oakley. So what's up, AC? We got hands. How you doing? We got Emily in there. Hi, Emily. Uh, Stephanie Lalani's here. Ina's here. What's up, Terry from uh, Hawaii. Aloha. We love Oakley and we love Hawaii. I was just talking to my wife yesterday. I'm itching to go back to Maui, but... Seems like we might have to do that in just maybe another year or two. I don't know. Um, so we went over the Sutro eye shades. And just to be clear, no human has ever worn Model 007 yet. That pair is, um, I'm surprised you even took them out of the box for this occasion. They're I feel very, very, they're very I feel fresh very and minty. But the other two you do wear. I do wear. And they're great. Yeah. They're functionally great. Like they're they're great glasses. They have prism black lenses. Like they have the the unobtainium nose pad. Oh, like, no, you can definitely like do a they're amazing century bike ride on those. Like, yeah. So then, speaking of Greg LeMond and back in the 80s and like the origination of sport eyewear, here, let's build um, this is the eye shade, which was invented uh, really in the back of a Honda. So um, the the uh, Gernard, who started Oakley, Jim Gernard started Oakley, and his famous phrase is everything can and will be made better, was driving down the road in a regular pair of aviators, uh, and the sun was setting, and it was bright, and it was kind of coming from the side, and it was creeping in, even though he had really nice uh, sunglasses on, it was creeping in. At that time, Oakley was making motocross goggles and motocross grips, and he was like just frustrated with not enough sport wraparound glasses. So he literally went home, took a pair of goggles, ripped out the shield and attached uh, coat hangers to the shield. And basically, and with some tape and like some stuff in his garage, like made the first prototype of what we now consider wraparound sport glasses. So that's how these were invented. And that's why they do look like goggles because the shield event, uh, uh, originally was from a pair of goggles and this pair again i think was released in 07 and i really wanted this color and i was having a lot of trouble finding them even having an account and knowing reps and stuff and we were actually at an oakley event in hollywood and i was with um my old rep the late great mark olson and we there was an oakley store in the mall where we were staying at like adjacent to the hotel and we went in and we saw that they had him he literally busted out his credit card and bottom for me right like, there on the spot how cool do we look right now yeah i mean like, or ridiculous on. i think or ridiculously yeah, to, cool to dan our president and ceo if you're watching hates these classes because he, he, they're ridiculous looking but i don't think he gets that that's what we're going he needs for. a lot of patience to sit next to the both of us yeah <laughs> <laughs> we just share an office, the three of us. But these are the eye shades. They originally, I think, was 84 when 84. these came out um, and really paved the way for the modern M frames. I saw somebody up there saying their favorite pair is still the M frames. These are like the predecessor um, of the M frames and kind of kind of goes back in time, starting with these. Um, they have adjustable temples. You make them longer and shorter. These uh, were my road cycling glasses every day for like a year yeah that they, exact pair this exact pair wow they work great wow. like and these like robs are the modern uh re-release which is I, nice because you don't have to worry about i having, do like, have a plastic. vintage pair um that the temple's broken on i don't wear them they used to have removable like foam on them i have new old stock lenses for those so um those are in a box somewhere so we went over kind of i think we're making our way over this way um just because I love them and I know they're not that retro and that hard to find. Why don't you put on those hot pink EV zeros just because, you know, this is still this is one of the only things on the table that you can still go out and buy today. Yeah, um, you can order these from us. Um, they may or may not be on our website, but you can call us and we, we should be able to get them for you. Um, the EV zero is a frame that um, it it is frameless. That's the term, yeah. right? So it's frameless. Um, it's just a shield lens in the front and it's got temples, hot pink temples in this case. And just the the shape of this lens is meant to, uh, let's see here, mimic the original razor blade. So you can see how, even though it doesn't have that plastic on the top, it's still the same shape. And they're really, really, 
really comfortable. Yeah. And the optics are just great. They're called zeros because they weigh almost nothing. And that pair in particular that Rusty's wearing, the, the, the zero back in the day was a really rad pair. It's like the crazy stuff Rodman used to wear. And back in the day, they came in a lot of different lens shapes. And then modern times, a few years ago, they re-released the zeros and they've been very popular sport glasses. But the model in particular that Rusty's wearing has kind of transcended sports and it's been on runways, has been fashionable. Has, I've seen DJs wearing them at clubs. Like this pair with that flat top and kind of that modern retro kind of mix has really shaken things up and um, you even see like Prada and other like fashion sunglass brands kind of mimicking stuff like this based on the success of this pair. So just a pretty cool concept. Let's uh, let's zoom in back on the comments. Ultimate Warrior, yes. AC, we do need oh, Ultimate sorry. Warrior face paint. Uh, that's for sure. Um, Steph Jade, can we talk about Rob's bling? Uh, oh, that's Katrina. Hi, Katrina. You know me, I just... It's just part of my, it's just the gold. We'll get into the gold glasses in a second. Um, love the EV zeros for running. Yeah, they're just unbelievably light. Um, oh, Steph wants to hear my ring story. I'll let them talk about that. Uh, and Dan is in here saying metal. Is metal in here? Metal, if you're watching, we love you. Metal is the uh, three-time winner of the Race Across America. He's a local cycling legend in San Diego and a Sport RX ambassador. Um, just so, an all-around nice guy. Yeah, just yeah, nice he's guy. just a great guy. And he's a lawyer and an amazing father and just a fun guy to be around. So, Metal, if you're watching, we love you. Uh, should we move I, on? I like these. Let's skip, let's oh, skip a category. Okay. I think that's a fun story. So this pair I got... Um, this, so Oakley did this green fade collection, green out, what was it called? Green fade. Green fade collection for the 2016 Olympics. So a bunch of different model of glasses came in this green fade collection. And side note, um, the U S Olympic team is huge, like yeah. hundreds of athletes, yeah. but there are also tons of athletes that weren't, would have been able, that would have been selected to go to the Olympics that weren't able to. Um, and as a kind of show of camaraderie, Oakley flew all these athletes up to one icon, the headquarters, and had them paint the glasses that the athletes were going to get. It's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm sure they got some stuff too. I'm sure they so Oakley has, uh, Oakley actually sent me and Dan to the Olympics, which was amazing. We were on a press tour and we got to kind of hang out with like Sports Illustrated writers and um, things like that and get to go to different events. But one of the really cool things, probably the highlight for me was going to the Oakley safe house. So uh, at the Olympics, a lot of different brands and companies have what they call safe houses, which is a place for their athletes to just kind of get away a little bit, have some really healthy food. Food, um, get swagged out. So when you go visit the safe house as an Oakley athlete, you get like a bag with all kinds of gear and you get green fade glasses that you could wear. And actually Oakley would let any athlete come in that was in the Olympics and get glasses while they were there. So that was pretty cool. But we got to go visit that place twice actually. And uh, this was what they gave us. So these are from the Olympics, from the Oakley safe house in Rio in the color. I don't wear this pair very often just cause it's kind of sentimental to me and I don't want anything to happen to them. But um, this is from the actual Olympics. So I love it. I also have a towel that matches that I got from there. and. Um, I also have the EV zeros with the chrome lenses. Maybe I should have brought those. I'll do another. Maybe yeah. we'll do another Olympics video. Yeah, I mean, I I was my wife is Brazilian. Hi, Petra. Um, so those Olympics were kind of a special to me. Also, I remember before I even started working at Sporter X, you know, I had come and talked to you and Dan to give you some tips about going to Brazil. Oh, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> you that know, that's right. Um, so those Olympics, like, they were just really cool. They were. A lot of people thought they weren't going to end up happening or things were going to get messed up. And in true Brazilian fashion, they pulled everything off at the last minute without yes. a hitch. Yes. Some hitches, but a few hitches. Uh, it was just cool. You know, like they were great games in general. A lot of historic things happened. Um, Brazil won the soccer gold. I got you. Yes, but. All right. Should we stick with uh, some origin stuff? Yeah. So the origins collection, like I talked about that they came out with this year, um, these are probably some of my favorite Oakleys ever. Um, the frog skin, when it originally came out in 1984, was a little bit different than the frog skin that we all know and love today. These were originally made in Japan and they had metal hinges instead of the plastic hinge, like, you know. The pin hinge, the, the sport hinge. Right, yeah. and the Oakley was just kind of silk screened on the side. It's not molded and also 
you can notice like the plastic around the lenses is just a little bit thinner and it makes the lens really pop mm -hmm. and they just they have more of a retro vintage vibe like i can just yeah. say it like on your face they also have more of a, a panoscopic tilt where on your head they don't sit as flush they kind of tilt forward a little bit kind of like the original wayfarers so there's they're kind of angled a little bit so um the true original old school og uh, frog skins were like this and the modern ones I think are make more sense for today's use But uh, it's kind of cool to have the retro like, lenses. Those well. look extremely cool on you. Thank you. They really do look at them. Come on I'm freshly tanned from the desert. So the white probably pops really well. They're just Oakley's been killing it with this retro stuff lately. Please, please, please send more. All right, I'm gonna talk about maybe my favorite ones and the story behind these. So uh, I got married in 2011 um, and I'm Sunglass Rob. Sunglasses were a part of my wedding. So uh, for, I wore these, this pair at my wedding. Well, not exactly this pair, I'll get into that. But I wore uh, the Sean White black and gold um, dispatches to my wedding and then all my groomsmen for the groomsmen gift got Sean White, black and gold Holbrooks and then so did my wife. And they were all a present from the late great Mark Olson. Mark, love you, hope you're watching from above. Um, so Mark was our uh, Oakley rep in San Diego and unfortunately passed away from cancer a few years ago. And uh, he's one of the people who stoked my Oakley fire for many, many years. But he gave all of these glasses to me as a gift for my wedding. And I wore the dispatches and then all my groomsmen wore the, the same color, but different model Holbrooks. Uh, this model, I'm sure everyone watching this still is, knows a lot about Oakley's and knows what Holbrooks are. Um, so we have pictures of me and my groomsmen and my wife kind of all wearing matching Oakley's and the wedding colors were black and gold and white and gold anyway. So kind of all tied in. So that was super rad. Now, fast forward a couple years later, um, the dispatch one has been discontinued. There's no more, you can't find them. And somebody actually stole my wedding pair. Like I would still wear them once in a while, and, which I probably shouldn't have. Um, but back then I didn't think about it. Somebody actually stole them and I couldn't replace them and it kind of broke my heart. And I told that story at uh, Oakley's call center when we were doing a presentation there many, many years ago. And this gentleman, Chris, uh, that was there was like just kind of like took a note and on our lunch break there was like a, a cabinets that Oakley would have in their call center full of glasses for training purposes so like if somebody on the phone would ask you about a EV0 you can go grab one and like weigh it or measure it or something kind of like what we do with our showroom here well the dispatch one was discontinued so they didn't need it anymore but it was on display and he got permission from the supervisors and he gave them to me that day so these are the replacement pair of the pair that i wore at my wedding so um just a lot same of color ugly, same color the temple oh, man that's cool. the um the icon on mine was all gold um it came with two icons and you can switch them they're interchangeable there's like a little mechanism here um but it's a different icon, but to me- That tiger like, stripe the icon's a little bit more sunglass rock. Yeah, it's really cool. And like the whole history of me wearing them and getting them for free. And then somebody at Oakley, like um, taking interest and replacing them for me, like I'm gonna cry right now. Uh, anyways, so that was, that was that pair. And then while we're just nearby, Holbrooks, as everyone knows, are just unbelievably popular. Are usually in the top one or two for sales Oakley Nash, uh, globally, including the FLAC 2.0. XL, which by the way, our SMU color is on its way back. Hopefully in a couple of weeks, we'll have more of our matte carbon. Um, this pair was a one that I made from a contest that I won and you can pick any color you wanted from the custom program. And I put these together and th this all red has always just been like candy red to me, like just delicious and, um, and loud that, and fun. And that uh, Ruby mirror is really Yeah, cool. this is the original Ruby and, um, I just love just love the colorway on this. I Nobody, almost just look at these. I you know, I'm gonna make a blanket statement uh -oh, here. Uh oh. Other brands are watching because other brands are watching. Nobody does mirrors like Oakley. Well, iridium, you know. A it's lot of people, just like it's got a depth to it and it's just so cool. Like I love that's what I want to do. I'm gonna let I you love. own that statement. I'll stand <laughs> on the side here. I'm not in case the coast of the rep is watching. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so we went over through almost everything. We've been talking for a while. We have a few frog skins uh, AC, left. I think I saw a comment. Like AC oh. was asking if we still had these Sutro eye shades in stock. I am pretty sure, because I looked last week, because we, we got a resupply from Oakley. I think we have one pair of this green, and I know for sure that we have like one pair of the white ones with the green temple. So AC, call our number, 
ask somebody to check on that for you and we will get you hooked up and tell them that Rusty said we would send you a t-shirt as well or a hat, whatever we have in stock. Yes. So. Nice. Uh, okay. So I think we're on to the, the so regular frog skins. Regular frog skins. Here you go. And uh, I'll wear your color, even though they're yours. I love this splattered one. This one is ridiculous. So both of these are modern production frog skins. Uh, you can tell the shape is very, very similar to this, but it's just like ever so slightly different. I customize the lenses in both of these because we happen because to have you some, can. Because I can. Because I work at Sporter X and we have super talented opticians who can do things that are not necessarily... You can't even get these color lenses for frog skins. He took other lenses and created these, which is pretty rad. Am I wearing Prism Trail? You're wearing Prism Trail I know and I'm Prism wearing Prism Trail. Road. Yeah. So yeah. these are two of my favorite Prism lenses and uh, Oakley doesn't sell the frog skin with these, so I just wanted to make my own. So they're one-offs. One-offs. Nice. The ones that Rob's wearing, he said, you might've heard that word splatter. In the eighties, Oakley was famous for doing these really funky, loud splatter painted where basically like the, the, the person painting them would just take an air gun and just like shoot paint splatters at them. And however they ended up is how they ended up. And they revived this technique last year and did a special run. And I made sure to grab a pair of those. And I love them. You are an addict, I will say. You do I'm like an addict. Oakley. All right. I think I think we covered the bases. Pretty much everything. Um, there's a frog skin light there, which is like the rimless version of the frog skin. But they're, I think they're we, fun. They're not our Xable, but they're fun. Yeah, I think we kind of went through everything. I just want to see: is there anything, any comments, any questions up there that we need to answer? Let's see if we can get that. Dan says we played beach volleyball in Copacabana with those. Yes, we did with some um, Olympic heroes. Actually, that was pretty cool. Um, and let's see, uh, Sebastian says, Rob, stop losing weight. Uh -uh, not gonna happen, buddy. I'm just working on it. Now I'm just trying to get strong. Uh, Brittany's like in your 007 eyeshades. Those are pretty rad. Amanda Fox thinks frog skins are the best. If you haven't, if you're into this enough that you're still watching this, we have a video called uh, Fox's 50 Frog Skins. We have uh, this lady that's that works for us, Amanda, and she worked for Oakley previous to working for us for I think 13 years. And she collects Oakley's. She actually has an Oakley Frog Skin tattoo on her foot. Yeah. Sorry, Amanda, if I'm putting you on blast. We're, we're, um, we're fans. Oakley, or uh, Amanda is- She's a super fan. She's a super she, fan. She, she, she named her goat. She does have a goat, an actual goat, not like greatest of all time from Holbrook. I'm ruining it. Next <laughs> week, I believe we're gonna have her scheduled for Talk About It Tuesday. If it's not next week, it'll be soon. And I think we're gonna ask her to limit it to, to like her favorite, maybe 10 or 12 or most, prize possessions from her Oakley collection. So if She's you, got some if you heavy, want to see some hitters. like X medals and over the tops and like, uh, I'd be surprised if she didn't bust out a Medusa. So, um, <laughs> but she loves and adores frog skins. That's if you like don't know her, what the Oakley think, Medusa is, Google it, Google it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think we've kind of went through all the questions. Rusty, is there anything that you want to leave the world with? Oakley, please keep reissuing great things from your past. I will keep buying them. I'm sure I'm not alone. Sporter X I'm will in. sell them for you. I mean, we will do everything we yeah. can to make it worth your while. Yeah, uh, I, I'm all about it. I wanna see the original eye shade actually. I'm not eye shade, eye jackets. Not the Redux, but the original the real, eye jacket. That would be pretty rad. I know that they save, like they, they as a company knew early on that they had cool stuff going and they did a yeah. really good job of archiving oh no they have everything and, like yeah. they they have all the molds they they can do it yeah please do it <laughs> <laughs> all right don't forget to like this video don't forget to share this video if you send us a screen grab of you sharing this video we will um send you a free hat um I hope everyone is staying safe out there. I know it's been a long new journey on this world that we're trying to figure out what the new normal is. I feel like this is the new normal. Everyone's just trying to find their own way. Please be kind and polite and considerate and forgiving to each other and your neighbors and uh, enjoy rocking your retro Oakleys. We'll see you later. Peace.